What's going on, you bloody legends? Welcome back. Today we're heading out on a mission to chase some mulloway or dewfish, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to head out on the jet ski and fish the, the seaway here at the Gold Coast. See what we can come up with. We're going to use some live baits. We're going to use some uh, soft plastics. We're going to jig some soft plastics. But um, today is extra special because it's the first day with actual quality weather in a very long time. I think the, the report saying this is the second weekend of the year that we've had that it isn't going to rain. So very excited to rip in this weekend, finally get some good weather, and hopefully we can make something of it and get some fish, baby. Let's go, you! Okay, first things first, let's go get some bait. I got the net on deck. I'm gonna go to my spot and get some herring, hopefully. Let's go, baby! Where's the jewies at? Have a go at it. Yee-hoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, I love this shit. Okay, so I've got my net. I'm here at the north eastern point of wave break. And this current line here where the water the water currents change and they meet. I always find that there's a lot of live bait in around this area. So every time I come here, I get a solid amount of herring. So just a little tip for you is if you guys are struggling to get liveies, this is a really good location. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no way. Holy crap, that's like the most full net I've ever seen. Guys, have a go at that. Let's get all these little guys into the, the tank. That is insane. Look at them all. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna chuck half of them back. I don't need that many. Man, how's the size of them too? These are big herring, really big herring. I don't think my live bait tank has ever looked so healthy. Are you kidding me? Ew, in one cast too. I was struggling a little bit. They weren't over where I said they were gonna be. They're just up around the corner here, just tucked in the shallows. Okay, so here we are. The swell's pretty big. Um, the tide's still running in. So the last of this run in tide, it's gonna drop this honey hole here on the uh, north wall of the seaway. About a 20, mil, uh, 20 meter drop, sorry, right about here. If you jump in, in around this area, uh, ch check it out with your sonar, you'll be able to drift straight over it. What we're gonna do, we're going to drop a livey and then we're also going to use a jig so let's do it so what i'm going to do hook straight through the back there behind that tail fin and then he's just going to vibrate exactly like that underwater and something's going to snap him up drop him in there and what we want to do i'm going to get him all the way down to the bottom and then i'm going to wind it up about four four beats making sure that that sinker and hook are not getting caught on the bottom Okay, so it should be pretty close to the bottom where that is there. I'm gonna leave that out. Let it let it do its thing. And then I'm gonna drop this straight down as well. And what I got is just like a six inch grub tail on a half half ounce. Yeah, on a half ounce jig head. And all I'm doing with that, dropping it right down to the bottom, and giving it a couple of quick aggressive raises off the, off the ocean floor. All right, so I know that's on the bottom now. I'm just gonna lift, let it drop. Oh, 
get it up. Do you guys get sharked before? Oh, I couldn't get it up quick. The boys got sharked before. Oh, normally you should let them have a couple of runs, but I gotta be quick. There's a big shark lurking. Smoked the boys, Dewey, before. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, you bloody ripper! Woo! Yes! Yes, boys! Oh, he's fat! I reckon he's legal! Alright, there we go! Have a bloody go at that thing! Beautiful Dewey! On the soft plastic! Uh, I don't know if you guys heard me in the heat of the moment, but the boys just pulled one up and all they pulled up was a head, so there's a shark down there. I managed to beat him today. Pretty stoked about that. Let's measure him, see if he's legal. 77 centimeters. You bloody ripper. Woohoohoo! Oh, yeah, we are on. Yes! Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> oh, I gotta get him up quick again. Sharks will be on him. No! 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 I got sharked. I definitely got sharked. Far out. Oh, spewing. Oh! Oh! Straight away! No way! No way! No way! Oh, another little Dewey! There we go. Another beautiful little undersized Dewey. I was going to put him straight back. There he goes. Success! We got what we were after. It's always a great feeling when you go out specifically targeting something and you manage to get it. Uh, not one, but two. So those lads that I was talking to out there in the uh, in the heat of it, turns out they've got a, a fishing magazine called Bush and Beach. So they teed me up. We came into a little bay here at uh, Wave Break Island and they took a couple of photos and he's, he's gonna chuck us in the magazine. So that's how cool, pretty chuffed about that to be honest. Got a fish. Done a bit of networking, met some cool guys, and uh, all in all, bloody good day so far. The weather is looking absolutely mint. Have a go at it. Just realized I don't have my good filleting knife, so we're gonna gap it back to land. Uh, get the ski back in and we'll head to the filleting station and uh, see our pelican friends. Alright, let's do this. So I'm going to scale it and then I'm going to fillet it. Or scale it, gut it, fillet it. And uh, if we're lucky, we might meet a few pelicans. It looks like they've already got word of the fish here. You can see them coming from a mile away. Oh, shit. I just got stabbed by one of its barbs by accident, and it went straight through my finger. It went in there and came out there. <laughs> that can't be good. Oh, well. Learn from my mistakes and uh, watch out for the fins. Okay, so after I've scaled that, should have nice smooth skin. What we're gonna do is we're gonna gut it and then uh, pull the slabs off it. Whoa. 
Oi, got me. <laughs> oh. He just like fully bit my hand then, eh? Hey? Missed the missed the guts completely and just got my hand. <laughs> just cut behind these two fins, angling towards the top of the head. And then I'm just gonna run my knife along its back, right along the spine here. Oh my knife's a bit shocking. And just peel these slabs off, running that knife along the bones. All right, there we go. Two beautiful fat slabs. We're gonna head back home to the eagle's nest and uh, wash the ski and uh, start preparing this fish for a feed, baby. Oh, we got a really simple recipe for you guys tonight. Beer battered fish and chips. So we're gonna make it from scratch using self-raising flour, beer, fish, and we're gonna dice it up into small little pieces. Got a fresh lemon from the garden. It's freaking massive. And um, just some potatoes, we're gonna make uh, just some fries out of these potatoes. Just a bit of seasoning. Now all I'm gonna do, just gonna cut it into like some thin slithers. Um, manageable bite-sized pieces. Just think about how they serve it at the pub, you know? Something like, something like that size is perfect. All right, so once you've sliced up the fish, you just wanna salt them. Uh, just lightly salt all of them up. Give them a toss to the other side. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> right, so next we're gonna chop the chips, so you can peel your potatoes if you want. I'm just gonna keep the skin on them. And uh, it's pretty simple. Chop them up into some little fries. All right, I've offloaded potato duties to Luca <laughs> while he's doing nothing and uh, freeloading the free feed. <laughs> next we're gonna make the batter, so real simple, self-raising flour and beer. And what you want to do, like the important part is the texture. So you kind of want it like a pancake mix, uh, maybe like a little bit more runny. So you just want to add some beer, whisk it up, and just keep adding beer until you got that correct texture. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. See that consistency? Um, not too thick, not too thin. And most importantly, if you've got any beer left, you may as well finish it because, you know, life's short. You deserve it. It's mm. my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> While you're preparing all this stuff, make sure to chuck your oil on the heat because um, it, it will take a little while to bring the boil. Okay, so the next step, you just want to dust each fillet and that's as easy as just tossing it around, giving it a light coating in the flour. All right, so we've got all the chips on a baking tray, and now I'm just gonna season them. And this is rosemary, thyme, uh, oregano, <laughs> garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And that's pretty much it. I just found it online. So yeah, coat these up, get them in the oven, and uh, we'll get, in, get these fish into the deep fry, I reckon. Okay, so once your oil's hot, you just grab your fish, Give it a healthy dunk into that. Oh. And then straight in there. Oh, no good. And just repeat that process and uh, just do a couple of pieces at a time. You don't want to um, overload your deep fryer, have oil going everywhere like I do. Oh, that is looking beautiful. gonna slice up this mega lemon that I got out of the garden. And that's just to serve with the fish. A couple of wedges. Guys, you can't go wrong with this recipe. Dead set, two ingredients. Look how crispy that is. I oh, don't worry about this. This is how the chefs do it. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there we go. This is how chefs do it in the restaurant, guys. You don't see this kind of stuff because you're at the pub, but uh, this is exactly how they do it. So, nothing out of the ordinary. Alrighty, guys, dig in. Oh, yeah. Doesn't get any more fresh than that. Have a go at that. Mmm. 
Mmm. That's so, actually so good. I'd say they're better than pub quality. You'd want to hope so. Caught it today, cooked it today. It's uh, awesome to have everyone here over enjoying the fruits of my labor. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit like, please hit subscribe. I really, really enjoy making content like this for you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna devour this. Phew, have a good one.